Hey everyone, it's day two on our cruise to Alaska on the Norwegian Joy, and there's so much to do today. It's a sea day, so check it out. Hey everyone, I'm Ken from Northern Viking Explorer, and this is my wife Andrea, and we are on day two of our cruise on the Norwegian Joy to Alaska. So make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our whole week of cruising. We're gonna have so much fun. Today we are trying to decide what we should do. We've got our free style daily. They've got lots of activities planned that we can take part of. But first we have to decide where to eat breakfast. So let's go. So we decided on the American Diner for breakfast this morning. It's kind of an old fashioned 50s, 60s style diner and it is free only for breakfast. If you do want to eat here for lunch or dinner, it is a la carte so you do have to pay to eat here. But you get to sit in these cool booths that are inside of cars. It's just a really neat atmosphere. Now they have a great selection of fruit, some oatmeal, they've got your breads and pastries, as well as bacon, sausage, croissants, and sausage muffins. Mmm, that looks delicious. <laughs> now the beverage station is located close to the entrance of the restaurant where they have juice, coffee, a selection of tea, and they have some milk there as well. It's a little chilly out here. It's definitely a little chilly this morning. It is. It's so beautiful out here this morning. This ship is really big. We're not noticing any waves at all, but the seas are calm as well. We're somewhere off the coast of British Columbia right now. You can also see there's lots of people running around on this upper deck here. This is where the running track is, and it does a big loop around the pool area. And some crazy dude is gonna go on the ocean loops. It's really cold. Yeah, I'm not going, no, no. way. <laughs> it's, it's cold, there he goes. Oh. <laughs> It's way too cold for this this morning. Definitely too cold. So we want to go check out the observation lounge and pleasantly, it is very quiet in here. It's like people haven't really discovered this part of the ship yet. It's really nice. There's lots of seating available and I mean, hey, you grab a coffee, come in here. It's really nice. Especially since it's chilly outside. It's really nice up here. And we're crossing our fingers that we are gonna see some whales. No whales yet, but um, also don't forget there's that Starbucks out here as well. But if you want free breakfast, it's also a great place for a light free breakfast. They've got the juices and coffees, teas, yogurt and fruit, as well as a whole bunch of pastries and breads. And if you really wanna go simple, you can grab some cereal here as well. So Andrea really wants to win some jewelry in a raffle and there are not very many entries. I don't know how it happens, but every cruise I somehow get convinced to enter my name in these draws because I just want to win. It's raffle time. Who's ready for this? Woo! I'm going to shake this box a little bit. Why when I say shake it, everybody say shake it, baby. Everybody say shake it, baby. I'm looking for it. First number is one, six, four, eight, four, nine. Let me double check. Oh, I didn't win, but hey, there's another draw coming soon. Oh, perfect. <laughs> My favorite. So we're heading over to the atrium and the Food Republic is putting on a free cooking demonstration. This is a paid restaurant, but they're giving out free samples here. What are they making today, Andrea? They actually are giving us banana and marshmallow dipped in chocolate. It is delicious, that's what it is. It was really good. They're also doing this cooking demonstration of how they make sushi. They're giving lots of tips and showing techniques on how to roll the sushi and which ingredients to incorporate. And the fun thing is they pulled out an audience member to come join the show. They're giving her some guidance and allowing her to make her own creation in front of everybody. Yeah, I think it was a custom creation she got to make. <laughs> As well, then you get to sample everything that's made at the end. It was tons of fun and you learn a lot being there. So I, I appreciate them putting this on for us.
Ah, we are on our way to another draw. But I did want to stop and show you this glass staircase. It's really beautiful as well as the chandelier is massive in this area. It was three stories high. But we actually have to go watch a seminar on jewelry for 20 minutes for this draw. I'm sorry, honey. I'm really sorry. Last draw, but it's really an expensive prize. Ah, okay, ya te sorprendí. Cada cada vez que se venga, es el lucky winner. Everybody say, woo! Room number is 11507. Come closer, please. Can I have your card? Forget the draws. Let's just go eat. It's just after 12 o'clock, and we are in the saver. Uh, we asked for a seat by the window, and they gave us this nice little corner spot where we can look out. It's really quiet in here right now, and we're gonna order some lunch. And I think this might be a nice place to enjoy our lunch today. There are tons of options here. I'm gonna have the popcorn shrimp and Andrea's gonna have the chicken nachos and the stuffed potato skins. And I'm gonna grab the Philly cheesesteak. You can also have other things. There's a tuna salad sandwich, classic cheeseburgers. They've got fish and chips, Spanish frittatas, roasted leg of lamb, fried chicken, and a whole bunch more. And it's all complimentary except the alcohol. I'm gonna have key lime pie as well for dessert. Here are my popcorn shrimp and Andrea's stuffed potato skins. Delicious. This is the chicken nachos. And here's my Philly cheesesteak. Very scrumptious. And the key lime for dessert. It was really good as well. While we are here, I'm gonna hide a duck. And again, if you don't know what cruising ducks are, I'll put a link below in the description so you can check that out. I've got a video on that. It's a really fun thing that you can hide ducks on cruise ships for other passengers to find. There are always lots of activities going on around the ship. Right now, they're playing a game with parents versus the kids. And somehow, they've allowed the parents to agree that if the kids win this game, they will get a later bedtime. I don't know about that. I'm gonna go jump on the Aqua Racer water slide. Andrea says it's way too cold for this, but I'm gonna be a trooper and go do this. You ride tubes, singles or doubles down there. Check out the guy working here. He's wearing a hood. It is really cold. Hey, here's another look at the Ocean Loops water slide. You get a good view of it from up here. But I'll jump on the slide. Here we go, single on a tube. Hey, sharks. Baby shark, do 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 do. There's some pretty cool like see-through sides on this enclosed slide that you can go down. It's got a psychedelic feel. The water's pretty warm and the ride is calm but still really fun. It goes at a pretty decent speed when you're riding in the tube. It's a lot of fun. Let's also pop into the Galaxy Pavilion on the Norwegian Joy. This is kind of their 3D, 4D arcade that they've got on board. And they've got this really cool Formula One racer that you can drive with these screens in front of you. You've got great views on that. As well, if you want to do a 4D hand glider, you can hop on that and soar over the mountains. As well, you can race your buddies on these simulated race cars where the seats are moving around. And if you want to be chased by dinosaurs, you can jump in this Jurassic simulator where you're gonna be chased by dinosaurs, driving around in a Jeep. It looks like a ton of fun. I have excellent news. Tonight, there's going to be a time change and we get to put our clocks back an hour. One extra hour of sleep. You, you do know that that's gonna come back to haunt you in a few days? Yeah, shh. <laughs> For now, it's good news. I think it's time to go get an ice cream cone for an afternoon snack. They've got a ton of flavors here, including blueberry sherbet, kiwi sherbet, no sugar added chocolate, butter pecan, strawberry, rum and raisin, vanilla, and chocolate. And you can have it on a cone or in a bowl with topping. Kiwi sherbet ice cream. It's really delicious. You have a whole bunch of flavors to choose from. But um, we're gonna hide this little guy. And 
after all that ice cream, I think we need to try and burn some of it off while watching TV and staring off into the ocean, trying to spot those whales that we've been looking for. No whales yet. I think it'll make us feel a little bit better if we uh, at least uh, try to work out in here. I see you're pumping some iron. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending. And definitely no to the body fat scanner, especially after all this food and ice cream. That is a big no, 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 no not today. Never. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick to the treadmill and stay away from that uh, machine over there. So tonight is the formal night. It's dress up if you want or not. Uh, we made reservations for the Manhattan. We'll be headed there. But also tonight is the big seafood buffet in the buffet tonight as well. So maybe we'll check that out and uh, show you what that looks like. Hi, we're on deck seven just outside the Manhattan. And if you go past the life rafts, you'll find there's this nice little area that's very quiet and there's uh, not too much wind, a nice place to get some photos before dinner and uh, it's quiet. So we're headed into the Manhattan for dinner. We got our seat by the window and lo and behold, the whales have come out. That is right where we were just standing where all these people are, you can see whales off in the distance blowing air up into the sky there's one there everybody is super excited there's another one over on the right hand side and um, we were really excited to see these whales this afternoon it made for a very special night and if you happen to get all dressed up tonight it's a great opportunity to get some photos done the photographers are out and all set up and ready to take your picture and it got warm. It's now warm in the evening and the seas are calm. So it's a great night to hang out on the deck. Hey, we wanted to take you up to the buffet, the garden cafe, and show you what they had in the seafood buffet. So they had all sorts of shrimps and mussels, different sauces to go with that, as well as different salads and pastas full of um, shrimp or different fish and different things. It looked really delicious. We were just so full from dinner. As well, they had your typical buffet, so the meats and pizzas and things going on as well. So if you didn't want seafood, you could do that. And they had this really cool ice sculpture as well for you to check out. We just had an amazing meal at the Manhattan. It was delicious. But the really cool thing was, and I'm so thankful that Ken asked, <laughs> bonus points there, he asked for a window seat. And we actually got there a couple minutes early. We had reservations for five. And they opened the door about 5-2 and they seated us right next to the window and a couple minutes into our dinner the captain went over the intercom and announced that there were whales on both sides of the ship and we probably saw 20 whales yeah. while we were eating dinner. Yeah it was really cool and fun to watch and the dinner was amazing. I had the steak your chicken with bacon on it. It was a looked, bourbon bacon chicken with sweet potatoes on the side. It looked really good. It was really good. And what did we have for dessert? We both had Boston cream pie, which yeah. was also good. It was really good. And a note that coffee, it's not on the menu. They have like espresso and the Starbucks drinks, but if you would like- Free coffee. Free coffee, regular free coffee or decaf. You can order it. Right you there, they'll bring, bring it too. Yeah, with also your... lemonade. We had lemonade, and it's not on the menu, yeah. and that's free as well. So and um, iced tea. Iced tea, yeah. So if you're into those, you can order them up while you're there. And tomorrow, what are we up to? We are headed to catch a can first thing in the morning. So that'll yeah. be a really fun day. We're there quite early at 7 a.m. I don't know if we'll be off the ship at 7, but uh, we'll be up pretty early going in there and um, so make sure you subscribe to Northern Viking Explorer so you don't miss out on tomorrow's adventures in Ketchikan. It's going to be a ton of fun and um, yeah we'll check back in with you tomorrow. We're off to Footloose, the, Footloose musical. the musical so we're going to have a great night tonight and we'll see you tomorrow.